Welcome to UITM Web OPAC User Guide Video. Web OPAC is a getaway to library collections, which is it works as a catalog for books, articles, media, and more. Users can search the library collection information anywhere anytime. How to log in to Web OPAC. First, go to Penang library.uitm.edu.my This is the interface of PTAR UITM CPP's website. Click on our services. Click OPAC. To log into the web OPAC, the user needs to enter their user ID, which is student ID for UITM student, and staff ID for UITM staff. After that, Enter password which is user's identification number. And click on submit button. What if I forgot my user ID or password? Don't worry. Even if you forget your ID or password, users can use the continue as guest button and users can search for library collections. However, there are some functions that cannot be achieved when the user uses the continue as guest function. Therefore, users should retrieve their ID or password by clicking forgot password and fill the form before click on continue button. What is the function of all the buttons? The search button works primarily for book searches using keywords. For the browse button, Users will be given a complete list of materials in the A to Z order, and users can search by first filtering the type of information, namely author, title, classified, subject, publisher, and place. Meanwhile, the Journals button, users will be given a list of journals available in the library according to the alphabet A to Z. For the ISBN search button, users can find the book information by using the ISBN. Typical location of an ISBN is on the back of a book. Then, the accession search can be used if the user knows the accession number for a desired book. The accession number defined as a number assigned to an acquisition, as a library book, indicating the order of its receipt. My account button will direct user to my profile, which displaying the user's general information. My account serves to store user data, as well as other functions. User can view the checkout item information and loans due date by click on items checked out button. Next, by clicking on reserves button, the users can view their reserved items information. Meanwhile, the function of recommendations only for staff, which is allowed to make item suggestions by filling out the form. Also, user can view their fine log and paid log by clicking on fine logs button. Next, the user can change their password by click on the change password button. Search history allow the user to view their previous search. And show cart allow the user to view the item that user add to cart before. Interlibrary loan helps user to view their requests. Users can borrow books from other libraries using this ILL service. By click Add Request button, fill the form, and click on Submit button. Next, Location button. Users can use the location function to search for book information throughout UITM in Malaysia. At the bottom, there is a basic button which is often known as free text or keyword searching will see involves searching using your own search terms. Next, advanced button is more detailed method of finding information by using the Boolean operator and or and not. Last but not least, additional button is an extra detailed method of finding books by using more specific information. How to search book using WebOpac. First of all, press the search button, then enter the keywords. Users can choose the location of the wanted material. 
For databases names, users can choose either article data, books, ebook data, journal data, and all databases. Just use all the databases because it is easier to find a lot of material. Users can also filter the search by selecting fields such as author, title, and others. If necessary, narrow your search by entering the range here of publication and sorting by category listed. Then click Go. Select on Book button. Choose the book that you want. Check the status, make sure the book status on the shelves, the location, and SMD. Then, copy the call number and can continue to find the book on the shelf. Do not forget to log out after using the web OPAC. If you have any question, feel free to chat with our librarian. And stay connected with us by following our social media platform.